In this video, I will be taking a look at these 60 kilogram centimeter servos that you can find on AliExpress. Let's see how good they actually are. Hi everyone and welcome to this video. I am starting the biggest project that I've ever done so far. I'm going to be designing and building a useful humanoid robot. So of course I was looking for new components to use for my new project and I came across these very interesting 60 kilogram centimeter servos from AliExpress. These RDS5160 servos have supposedly a torque of 60 kilogram centimeter. I wanted to see if it's true and how good they actually are. You can get these for around 30 to 35 euros or 34 to 39 US dollars. I've included a link in the description below. Some quick info about these, they're all Metal Gear servos. In the package, they come with a bunch of accessories, including these metal brackets. Importantly, these servos have a case design that makes it easy to have a double access joint. This is possible by the extra access support on the bottom of the servo case. One of the brackets fits onto the drive shaft piece and is supported by a bottom piece, which has a bearing that slides onto the access support. This makes sure that the load is well balanced. These metal pieces are an option when buying. Standard, you will still get all the plastic pieces. I chose the metal pieces because they seem more suitable for high torque in my eventual designs. The other bracket is used to mount the servo in different configurations and makes it easy to attach it to other servos. For the test I prepared two bottles of water that weigh 1 and 2 kilograms. Next I tied some string to the neck of the bottle. I made an aluminium servo extension that attaches to the drive shaft piece. This allows me to attach the water weights at different distances from the center to get different torques. Next I set my power supply at 7.4 volts, which is the recommended voltage, although they are rated from 6 volts up to 8.4 volts. I start with 1 kilogram at 10 centimeters which is a torque of 10 kg centimeter. As we can see, this is no problem at all and goes with ease. Next, I move the weight to 20 cm, which will be a torque load of 20 kg centimeter. This goes pretty much with the same lack of effort as the 10 kg centimeter. So I moved on. 2 kg weight at 15 cm distance. That is 30 kg centimeter. This seems to be putting some strain on the servo but overall still easily doable. It doesn't seem to struggle much with this torque. So we'll move it on to 20 cm for a torque of 40 kg cm. Here still it seems to go pretty smoothly. The lifting speed isn't much affected, which is very good. Next step is adding 1 kg at 10 cm, which combined will be 50 kg cm of torque. Nope, doesn't work this time. But wait, it is actually my power supply that can't handle the current anymore since it's maxed out at 5 amps. Too bad, but I decided not to stop here. If I can't provide the current to lift it, I can still test the holding torque. So I took the same weights and just dangled them off the ground to see if the servo could resist the forces. 
Since 50 kg centimeter worked, I proceed to 60 kg centimeter. This is 3 kg at 20 centimeter. As you can see, it can hold this without much problem. So as a conclusion, I can say that they meet their described specifications. It can hold 60 kg centimeter torque pretty fine. I'm quite confident that with enough current supply, lifting 60 kg centimeter should be possible as well. For short durations, of course, as to not overheat the servo. If you liked seeing this, consider to leave me a like on this video and click that subscribe button and notification bell to see more of my projects. I would also really appreciate your support on my Patreon so I can keep making interesting videos and projects that you can build at home. Check the description for all info. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.